Hey guys, CryptoDays the Geek here and welcome back to the channel. I am here today with my uh, trusted Skywatcher Quattro 150p Newtonian telescope, which have you, as you know is a great telescope once you've put in the footwork to make it work properly. So for me, it means that up to now I've replaced the spider of the telescope that holds the secondary mirror. I've, re I've added a mirror mask to the primary mirror. I have spent hours and countless hours on collimation because Upon arrival, the secondary mirror was nowhere near where it was supposed to be. And that's a complete understatement. It was miles from where it should have been. And uh, now I'm left with the only part that I really need to replace and I've like held on to for so long, which is the focuser here. Uh, that is a garbage focuser that came with the scope. Now this telescope, it's very interesting. There are apparently two versions of it. They all have, they both have the same name. One of them came, comes with a decent focuser that has a rail at the bottom. The other one comes with a horrible focuser which that just has a flat surface at the bottom. This is what we have here. And today, this is what we're going to get rid of because I bought on AliExpress a replacement focuser uh, specifically for the Skywatcher 150p. And it comes together with an adapter, which means that I should be able to fit it directly on the plate that is on the telescope there. So I do not need to replace the plate on the telescope. I just need to replace the focuser itself. And with that, uh, this AliExpress focuser cost me 180 US dollars, a bit less if I remember correctly. It's from a brand called CYCK, whatever that is. And I will have links down in the description, fingers crossed that it is actually fairly good. Right now, as I am testing it, it is extremely smooth and it has a proper rail focusing mechanism plus a tension screw. So it seems to fit all of the requirements for a nice uh, focuser and it is relatively cheap. Again, all of the links down in the description if you're comfortable, you know, ordering from AliExpress. But now that it's said, I will go and try to basically remove the current focuser from the telescope and put in the uh, plate in its stead and then screw in the new focuser, see if it even works. Okay, first things first, I will remove the existing EF that I have uh, on, the, uh, on the actual focuser and we'll be able to hopefully put it back later once you're ready. Here we go. It is removed. Now let's see if I can just remove my electrician's tape here. And then I should be able to just uh, remove like those are pull screws, I believe. Which are the pull screws? Yeah, the pull screws are the big ones. So I'm going to remove the big pull screws. The pull screws are removed, so I should be able, there we are, to remove the focuser itself. And the push screws themselves will actually need them to place on the new base, so we'll need to remove those uh, push screws as well. There were also some uh, rubber washers beneath the plates, so we're going to reuse those as well. So now, the new focuser came with those screws, which I assume will be to affix the plates onto the existing one. So before I put the plate itself that came with the new focuser, along with the uh, the new screws that it came with, uh, we're going to put the uh, rubber washers back in place while making sure we're not dropping them onto the secondary mirror. And it seems that I have overall decent alignment of the uh, screw holes with the uh, base plate. So I'm going to basically screw all of the screws one by one but not completely to the end because we'll want to adjust that uh, one by one i want basically to have like for now just the uh this base plate uh fully flush that way we're roughly at 90 degrees later on as i showed in a previous video we'll be adjusting the um, angle via the collimation screws okay now that we are close to the end i'm just going to tighten one by one roughly the same until we are nice and tight on all three screws. Okay, and here we are. I'm gonna add now the grub screws that are uh, going to be the push screws for further alignment of this plane if it needs to be done later on. Okay, and here we are. So we have the new base plate effectively that comes with the new focuser. 
we have the three screws here that also do. Uh, the rubber washers beneath them were with the original focuser, as were the push rub screws that we have in there. Now is the time to see whether we can screw that in. By the way, one of the things I noticed is that the end of the uh, focuser is, the inside is properly flocked, but the outside is reflective. So I'll have to see whether that causes any issues. I may need to flock just this end later on. So we'll see. For now, I'll see whether I can just uh, screw it in normally. And it seems I can. Now, as I screw it in fully, this is the angle that I come up to, but I think with those screws here, we should be able to adjust it. There we are. And I can still change the angle whenever I want. So that's very nice. And here we have the final setup with the focuser installed. And my first impressions are extremely good. So just to give uh, an update, I will need to do the collimation on all of that again, because I have changed the focuser. Obviously, that changes a lot of things. But uh, when I installed the focuser plate flush against like the actual uh, plate on mounted on the telescope, I saw that using my bubble level, it was uh, roughly at the same orientation as the spider inside, as I've shown in another video. So I probably will not mess with the collimation screws on the base itself. And then my next point was I wanted to install the ZWEAF on it. And the installation itself went extremely smoothly. I just needed to change the coupler that goes between the focuser and the electronic focuser uh, to the second largest one. Uh, not the very largest one that ZWO provides, but the second largest one. But then it's like the screws were the same, nothing else had changed. I just like it was uh, unscrew and screw back and nothing more to do. So it worked really well. And for now, my first impressions of this focuser is that it's really, really solid. I can pull on it with a lot of force. It doesn't do anything. Push, pull on it. Nothing happens. And the, with the old focuser, it would just like pop off like super easily. Uh, so that's uh, really a big win. Uh, there's like, there's, it doesn't look like there's going to be any tilt whatsoever. Uh, whereas with the old one, anytime I had something slightly heavy at an angle, I would get some tilt and some of the corner stars would get murdered by that. It has a really nice compression ring as well to hold the coma character in place and the tolerances with the coma character are super tight so it fits in like a glove and then the compression ring holds it in plate, place it's no longer two screws to hold the coma character in place so that's also great and a point that earlier in the video i was worried about which was like the focuser tube actually creeping inside the actual ota and thus being a source of reflections it's not going to be an issue because it actually does not protrude at the point of best focus, it does not protrude inside. The coma corrector itself protrude, protrudes, but not the uh, focuser. So we don't have any issue there. So overall, it looks like a great, like, like great is actually probably another an understatement because in comparison to the focuser that came with the telescope, this is uh, an infinity upgrade it's like the focuser we had at first is a horrible horrible piece of junk this might not be the best focuser ever it's not a moonlight focuser it's not a feather touch focuser but it is well built it seems very serviceable it seems well thought out and it just fits the plate that already is mounted on the telescope so you don't need to mess with that and that's a huge win in my opinion. I'm soon going to head to the United States for the total solar eclipse so I will likely not have the time to actually uh, have results with the, this, uh, this focuser but yeah initial impressions video this is excellent and it's certainly not going to be a downgrade compared to the uh, default focuser that came with this. So if you were looking to replace your default Quattro uh, focuser with something that makes more sense, and that is does not completely break the bank because I've seen so many focusers that are like 300, 400 US dollars. This one was at 180 US dollars, including shipping. And I think this is the one for you if you're comfortable ordering from AliExpress. Again, I will have the links down in the description. What are your thoughts on this? Have you replaced the Skywatcher focuser with something else? Let me know down in the comments while you're there. Like the video, subscribe. It truly helps the channel out. And it helps also other people reach the videos and learn from the tips that I provide. So win-win for everybody involved. And if you want to support the channel some more at no cost to you, you can, and you wanted to buy something on Amazon or Agena or High Point Scientific or some others as well. Well, before doing so, you could go 
in the description, click on any of my affiliate links and then do your purchase. It helps the channel out at no cost to you. So it's really, really appreciated. And of course, if you're feeling grandiously generous, you can join my Patreon as a member. Link down in the description. Some ranks have access to my videos early and without ads. Or you can join the channel as a member next to the subscribe button. And it's you guys. You absolutely make the channel possible. Thank you so much. But more important than all of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars. And I'll see you next time.